Suzuki Jimny of the Third Generation, 1998, 2018 years of release. Good day if you are wondering, is it worth buying a third generation Suzuki Jimny and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the body of the Suzuki Jimny is relatively well protected from corrosion, but since the age of the oldest specimens has passed the 20 year mark on the trunk lid, it's already possible to meet foci of corrosion. Usually spiders appear directly under the rear window. In addition, corrosion can be found on door window frames. But treating the bottom of Jimny with an anti-corrosion compound immediately after purchase will not hurt. Even if it's not often among the used Jimny, there are copies with an almost completely rusted trunk. As for the interior, after the first restyling it lost the not so pretty hand out handle. Instead engineers have used more convenient buttons and at the same time they moved the hood release lever to its usual place. Before restyling the unlocking lever was located not under the front panel but in the glove compartment. The interior itself is assembled very high quality, but neither design nor quality of finishing materials pleases. Suzuki Jimny is just as, as simple in terms of electrics. By modern standards, Jimny's electrical system can even be called primitive. On the other hand, there is simply nothing to glitch or fail here. The main thing is not to provoke the generator failure by frequent overcoming deep forts and remember that the capacity of the standard battery is not too large. The latter, after 2-3 years of operation, is often completely discharged with the onset of severe frosts. In our market, Jimny was officially sold with a single 1.3 litre gasoline engine with 85 horsepower. Before restyling, this engine had a belt drive of the gas distribution mechanism, which required maintenance every 100,000 km. In addition, due to the lack of hydraulic lifters, the motor requires periodic check of valves clearances. It's necessary to adjust the valves every 120,000 km. It's important that if the timing belt breaks, the insides in the engine of a Japanese SUV remain intact. The meeting of pistons and valves doesn't occur, since Suzuki engineers initially provided for special cuts on the piston crown. By and large, the 300,000 km mileage for the Jimny motor is not something supernatural. The main thing is that overheating doesn't happen during this time, since the 1.3 liter unit is very sensitive to the temperature regime. This forces the owners of used Jimny to carefully monitor not only the cleanliness of the cooling radiator, but also the performance of the viscous coupling of the cooling fan. Practice shows that it completely depletes its resource to the mark of 120-150,000 km. After restyling in 2002, Jimny began to install a motor of another series in which an eternal chain was used in the gas distribution mechanism without exaggeration. But if you periodically unscrew the not the most powerful motor to the red zone on the tachometer, it will easily eat up to 2 liters of oil for every 10,000 km. Accordingly, there is great risk that the camshaft chain drive will suffer greatly from a lack of lubrication. In the drive of the ancillary units, a poly V-belt is used, the tension roller of which can be either steel or plastic. The plastic roller was not very reliable. There are cases when it required replacement after 30-40 thousand kilometers. As for the attachment belt itself, it's better to replace it with a mileage of 90-100 thousand kilometers, about which of the two motors to choose controversy still continues. Of course, a chain that doesn't require replacement is attractive to many, as well as the fact that the engine that appeared on Jimny after restyling is less prone to overheating. Of its weaknesses, one can only note that the insufficiently reliable sensors of the crankshaft and camshafts, not without unpleasant incidents. At first, a new engine was often tweaked immediately after starting. Only as it warmed up did the motor start to work steadily. To solve the problem, the engineers had to update the engine firmware, and I had to do it twice. It doesn't hurt to update the engine firmware immediately after purchasing a used copy. Unofficially, right-hand drive units with a turbocharged gasoline engine with a volume of only 660 cubes were also imported to us. A tiny motor is not ready to offer a large resource. Its limit is 200,000 km. In case of overheating, the resource will be even less. As for the tiny turbine, it is considered a consumable on a 660cc engine. On average, it serves about 40,000 km. However, if you do not want to buy a contract motor for 30, 40,000 rubles, you can try to maximize the service life of a miniature power unit. 
To do this, it's worth strictly observing the oil change interval and not saving on its quality, as well as letting the engine run for 2-3 minutes at idle after each trip. This will allow the turbine to cool down. From time to time, on the secondary market, there are also turbo diesel Jimny. For such copies, among fans of the Japanese SUV is a real hunt. And how could it be otherwise, if a 1.5 liter diesel engine from Renault gives the Suzuki Jimny incredible efficiency and torque? There is no need to worry about the fact that Suzuki Club services are practically unfamiliar with this engine. With a K9K unit, you need to go to the French experts who have thoroughly studied this motor. They know very well that until 2010 this motor was not well known for its short service life. Often the connecting rod bushings were turned already with a mileage of 120-150 thousand kilometers. After a global update, the problem disappeared. In addition, during the modernization, engineers abandoned Delphi piezoelectric injectors in favor of a simpler system from Siemens. The optimal transmission for the Suzuki Jimny is the 4-speed automatic ISIN. Owners who often go off-road usually install an additional cooling radiator on the box, but practice shows that even without it, an automatic transmission can be considered very reliable. There are enough cases when the automatic is no longer only the engine, but also the car itself. The cheapness of repair is considered a huge advantage of the ISIN automatic machine. Even its complete bulkhead is unlikely to cost more than 50,000 rubles. There are much more questions about the Jimny mechanical box. The mark of 150 to 100,000 km is critical for synchronizers, after which the box has to be sent to the bulkhead. As for the service life of the clutch, it depends entirely on the operating conditions. Usually the clutch is enough for an average of 100-120 thousand kilometers. If you often go on difficult off-road, the driven disc will only be enough for a few rides. Considering the specifics of Jimny operation, Suzuki had slightly shortened the oil change intervals. In the mechanics it's necessary to change the oil every 40 thousand kilometers and in the automatic every 60 thousand kilometers. In the transfer case every 45,000 km, in bridges every 45,000 km. Unfortunately, only a few owners adhere to these recommendations to the full. The all-wheel drive of a Japanese SUV is built according to the classic scheme, which involves a rigid connection of the front axle. The mechanical part of the transfer case is not a hassle. What cannot be said about the limit switches on the distributor with push-button control? They turned out to be too capricious. Owners should be prepared for wiring decay and lose contacts. After 2006, a special protective steel casing began to be installed at the plant, after which there were fewer problems. The front hubs on the Jimny are pneumatically driven. With age due to cracking of the tubes and the flapping solenoid valve, the system stops working normally. As a result, the owners resort to a kind of tuning and install a set of with manual hubs on the car. Another age-related problem is the burst amount of the handout. To the mark of 100,000 km, replacement will require the rear silent blocks of the front suspension arms. The signal for replacement is the yaw of the car and the decrease in directional stability. By the same time, we can expect the appearance of increased backlash in the steering wheel. The rest of the Jimny suspension can be considered the standard of reliability. Even the struts and bushings of the anti-roll bar can withstand under 150,000 km. Steering tips can easily withstand 180 to 100,000 km. Only the steering knuckle thrust bearings are considered to be relatively unreliable. Under normal conditions, they serve about 40,000 km. On bad roads, no more than 40 to 50,000 km. In the rear suspension, the shock absorbers are usually the first to surrender. If you often drive with a serious overload, they will only last for 50-60 thousand kilometers. Suzuki Jimny front pads do not require replacement for 50-60 thousand kilometers. Rear drum brakes pads can easily last 2-3 times longer. The drums themselves do not have to be changed at all throughout the life of the vehicle. Confuses only one thing the effectiveness of the braking system. By modern standards, it leaves much to be desired. Not the heaviest car, due to the rough work of anti-lock system, doesn't stop as quickly as we would like. It's hardly possible to judge the reliability of the tuning options for the Suzuki Jimny. Everything will depend on how well the car has been modified and in what conditions it was used. Interestingly, the amount of improvements is often gigantic. For example, some owners changed a low-power 1.3-liter engine for 1.6 and 1.8-liter units. 
It's logical that after this, fundamental changes are made to the transmission and to the suspension and to the braking system. As for the disadvantages of the Japanese SUV, which are not directly related to reliability, they include the high cost of spare parts. At the same time, the Japanese didn't compile spare parts catalogs in the best way, which is why it's not always possible to choose the right part the first time. Disassembly and specialized forums help out, otherwise no comment. The Suzuki Jimny really can be considered the ideal vehicle for conquering rough terrain, but buying Jimny without a trial test drive and thorough diagnostics is not worth it. Whatever one may say, but we are talking about a rather specific car which, despite its advantages, is not suitable for everyone. If you are the owner then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.